I'm Dr. Harry Radden, Jr., known to many as Hal. I serve on the board of directors of Camp Hanover and I'm a ruling elder and charter member of the Brand Real Church. We are living in a rapidly changing world. For our Presbytery and its member churches to grow and thrive, we need adaptive change. Our member churches are too often operating in isolation, constrained by limited resources and ability. The adaptive changes proposed in this strategic plan are bold, and it is my hope will lead us in a renewal in our ability to spread the gospel with the ultimate mission of growing followers of Jesus Christ. Good morning. I'm Elizabeth Gatewood, and I have the honor of being the oldest member of this planning team. I'm a member at First Presbyterian Church in Charlottesville, and one of the things I love about my church is the sense of community and connection within the church family and out into the surrounding community. It is my hope that the work and the proposals of this planning team will serve to promote and nurture a similar sense of community and connection and mutual support throughout this presbytery. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marilyn Johns and I'm a certified Christian educator and a ruling elder serving at the Gate and Kirk as the clerk of session. One of my hopes for the Presbytery of the James is that this new strategic plan and new structural model will enhance that connectionalism, both by providing specialized staff and varied locations. That way, the Presbytery of the James is coming to the churches and not the other way around. This will allow for more regional connections among churches and clergy so that we might draw on the abundant and varied gifts and talents of our neighboring congregations. Through regional offices and our newfound discovery that, yes, technology can be an effective way to hold meetings, I hope the Presbytery of the James will be more visible, more helpful, and better able to assist all churches, large and small, to fulfill our ministry and mission in Jesus Christ and for our neighbors. Hi, I'm Catherine Todd, um, minister, member of Presbytery from Forest Hill Presbyterian Church in Richmond. And I've been so encouraged working with the strategic planning team um, and very hopeful for the future of our Presbytery. I think what we've come up with, um, what we've discerned together over these past years, um, lifts up the importance of volunteers and members and friends of the church and ministries that we're a part of as being vital to the work of, of the ministry, and especially in this day and time. Um, I also love how the models that we're lifting up today follow the example of the Trinity, that relationship at the core. I love how it creates balance of power so that power is not concentrated in any one person abnormally. I love how it follows Christ's example of relational ministry out and among people. Um, a go to the people rather than them come to us. I love how it brings into focus that our purpose is to serve Christ and that we, in serving Christ, Christ's heart is for the world and therefore we serve the world. It makes that very clear. And finally, I love that it places emphasis on connection because that's one of the most beautiful things and assets that we have as a presbytery is the resource that we are to one another, the presence and um, love and support that we are to one another and providing more opportunities to make those meaningful connections with those around us and to form partnerships that are mutually life-giving. We all need that these days. So I'm very excited. Um, do ask questions. I look forward to all of our meetings so we can discuss and um, moving forward. Thanks. Hello, I'm Katherine Jackson, Covenant Pastor at Bot Memorial in DeWitt, Virginia. I have spent approximately 50% of my 34 year ministry in small churches, which I have always defined as churches with 100 members or less. Bot Memorial is just such a body of Christ. My time with the strategic planning team has reaffirmed my belief 
that the Presbytery of the James is committed to providing ways to support small, vibrant congregations in their proclamation of the gospel. I believe that the proposal being shared as a first reading today will offer each and every body of Christ the opportunity to interact with each other in new and exciting ways. I look forward to listening and sharing with you during our scheduled listening sessions in January. But until then, have a blessed Thanksgiving, Advent, and Christmas.